earlier. When is the right time to drill my ditch? This is video 3 in a series of videos that discusses dog breeding. Welcome and meet Estrogen, the maestro and the chief coordinator of the reproductive processes that create new life. Like a maestro of an orchestra, Estrogen conducts and brings harmony at the unison among all the players both the male and female, and involved in the reproductive process. Estrogen hormone is produced in the ovaries or by the ovaries. Estrogen hormone is involved in the overall development of the primary and secondary reproductive organs. Estrogen coordinates the estrus cycle. Now let's look at the dog's estrus cycle and breeding behavior. Female dogs or bitches will come on heat or estrus two times in a year after reaching six months of age. It's highly recommended to skip the first heat or estrus cycle and the mate on the second when the bitch will be over 12 months of old. 12 months old. The dog's estrus cycle has four phases. The first phase is an estrus. This is the longest phase of the cycle and it lasts three to five months. This phase is characterized by, by very low levels of estrogen hormone in the blood, in the bloodstream and the total disinterest with the sex on part of the beach. This is important. An estrus is characterized by low levels of estrogen hormone in the bloodstream and total, total disinterest with the sex on part of the beach. But estrogen is not a seed during this phase of the cycle. This is the time estrogen conducts a maintenance service of the ovaries, oviducts, uterine horns, the cervix, vagina, and the mammary glands to ensure they are ready for the next phase of the cycle. Once done with the maintenance, estrogen sets an alarm with the pituitary glands, asking to be alerted when environmental factors are conducive to move to proestrus for the next phase. and its characteristic signs. Once the pituitary girls feel the atmosphere is right for the next phase of the estrus cycle, it sends a signal to the ovaries through a hormone called follicle stimulating hormone. Proestrus is a 9 days widow with a range of 8 to 17 days when estrogen and the follicle stimulating hormone transform so, primitive ovarian structures called primordial follicles into gravian follicles. Gravian follicles rupture at the end of the proestrus, releasing eggs that are almost ready for fertilization. The levels of estrogen in the blood stimulates considerably during the proestrus to meet demand for preparing other reproductive organs for the oncoming pregnancy. While waiting for the follicles to mature the release eggs, estrogen is securing the passageway from the vagina to the oviducts for the arrival of the spouse. It does this by facilitating migration and cleanup of the whole reproductive tract by white and red blood cells, platelets, and other immune cells. This migration of blood cells through the walls of the endometrial capillaries is referred to as diapedesis and is what causes estrus breeding. Estrus vaginal breeding is the number one characteristic sign of the onset of the proestrus phase of the estrus cycle. This sign is important in determining the time of ovulation and the best time to mate the beach. 
The migration of blood cells into the reproductive system causes edema and swelling of the vulva ribs. Another sign of the proestrous phase of the cycle. As the levels of estrogen continue to rise during proestrous, male dogs will detect the aroma of that sweet sex hormone as they attempt to mount the beach in heat. However, the beach in heat will decline to be mounted, training she is not ready yet. That refusal to be mounted is a sign that she has not ovulated and is not ready for mating. Continued swelling and edema of the teeth and mammary tissues is the fourth sign that the beach is in the, in the proestrous phase of the cycle. After completing plans for the oncoming release and the fertilization of the mature eggs, estrogen signals the pitch that regress to release luteinizing hormone. OLH. Luteinizing hormone triggers ovulation or the rapture and the release of the eggs from the gravian follicles. Ovulation arches in the estrous phase of the cycle. That's the end of this video. If the video was helpful, subscribe, share it, comment or ask a question below. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video.